Hello, welcome to another interview of Impro News. Uh, we are still on the Amsterdam International Improv Festival or the Improv Amsterdam International Festival or the Festival International of Amsterdam. I'm still not sure how it's really called, but we have somebody who can tell me. I hope so. Uh, it's Sven Lancer. I pronounce it wrong. I yes. know. Uh, but That's you will okay. say that, uh, you are... You're working in the festival, yes. and we will talk about more, but please introduce your name now correctly and yeah, what are you doing here in the 20th anniversary festival? It's uh, Sven Lancer, hmm. so remember that, Sven Lancer. Uh, but you pronounce it pretty well because you're German, so that's pretty similar, I'd say. Um, I, um, uh, at the, in this festival, uh, which is, we changed the name, so now it's just Impro Amsterdam, it makes it easier. Okay. We don't have this thing with international blah blah. It's Impro Amsterdam, that's our name. Um, uh, I'm one of the nightmares. Uh, Bernice is the other nightmare, so that means we actually take uh, uh, people to bars. We, we take care of the social program because, of course, there's a lot of uh, shows and there's a lot of workshops, but there's also a lot of people that want to do other stuff. Um, and I think one of the things of the festival is to hang out together and, um, yeah. and to get to know each other. And, and that's what we uh, do partly. And you did it great, I could say, because the night program was really interesting. We had a, a guided tour yeah. for yesterday, I think. It uh, was the day before yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Through the red light district, yes. and we learned a lot about Amsterdam. It was really fun. For me as well, I learned a lot as well. I didn't know some things. <laughs> so um, this uh, nightmare uh, thing is really something interesting. Yeah. It made, for me, the festival really warm, welcoming and, cool. and familial in a way, yeah. so it's really a community building thing. So. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, and that's, I think that's one of the things we, we, we like doing, I mean, as I said, one thing is shows and workshops, the other thing is really just getting the people together, because we've been growing as a festival, and more and more people from abroad are coming, so uh, like Germany, uh, we have people from, uh, from Greece, uh, Romania, uh, France, Israel, so the, the people are coming from all over Europe uh, to be in this festival, so we want to take care of them as well. And you did, so congratulations for Thank this you. point. Um, and so maybe you can say a little bit about the the development of the festival uh, from last year. Now it's your 20th anniversary, yes. so 20 years of festival, it's really a thing. Yeah. Uh, what? How, how would you say, what's the the main point you want to, as a, or maybe let, let's go a little bit back. What I didn't understand till now is how it's organized this festival because I met a lot of people in being involved in this festival. I think 10 at least yeah. at the moment. Yeah. How many people organizing this festival? Okay, if you go back, there's a, one of the, uh, the, the improv groups in Amsterdam. Uh, it's the biggest in Holland, it's TVA, and TVA started this festival. And so um, there's a, a, a team, the Kern team as we call it, they organize the festival. Uh, but we need a lot of volunteers, for example, as a nightmare, but we need cooks, we need dishwashers, we need, we need a lot of people to do production, we need people to sell t-shirts. So I think all in all is around 75 people who volunteer in the festival. Some it's just like one night, you know, doing the dishes for, for the cast when they're eating, but some people are really involved. And um, uh, apart from the nightmare, I'm also, I was part of the artistic committee, so we actually looked at the festival uh, the artistic way. So uh, what shows do we want? What people do we want here? Uh, how many workshops do we want? All those kind of things. And that's so that we make it like a wish list and then we talk to the, the team and, and, and uh, talk about what's possible and, and I think we've been trying to um, make the festival bigger to get more people to come here but also to, to heighten the quality and if you look, look back uh, 20 years, I wasn't there then I didn't even know about improv but it was just like a small festival and it was just like you know basically guys hanging out and having fun on stage and over the years we've really um, yeah, evolved into a more mature festival with higher quality um, uh, teams playing, higher quality shows um, and higher quality workshops. And you said you had a wish list for artists showing up or, or, yeah. or, or um, 
formats to show you. Is there first? Let's talk about fail. Failing is yeah. there something you couldn't uh, get organized and um, you want to have here? I don't know. I think we got what we wanted mostly. Um, <laughs> but what, what we've been focusing on was um, we always wanted uh, like like a well-known group. You know, who've been doing it for a long time. Who really know uh, they well have a history. But we also want to have the new the new kids on the block. You know, yeah. we want to have the, the 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 as we call them the young dogs who are going out there and doing new stuff. Uh, we also want. To have people from further away. I mean, if you you could probably do this festival with only people from the U.S. and the U.K., but that's a different culture from people from the Philippines who are here, uh, for example. Yeah. Um, so we want to have that as well to to make it a multicultural festival uh, with because I think they have different styles as well. If you look at the Norwegians who are here, they have a different style from from the guys from the U.S. who have a different style from the people from the Philippines because they have a different culture. I think that's. One of the advantages of, of bringing them together is you get this, I don't know, this melting pot of great shows and, and great atmosphere and great workshops. And so, what what's the reason for uh, yeah organizing and putting so much energy into a international festival like this? What what's your personal benefit? That's a good question uh, because I cannot say for other people. My personal thing is that I. I love being inspired um, and I love working together with people from, from different communities, different cultures, yeah. like we are talking right now, um, because I think you can learn a lot um, and it's also just fun uh, to hang out. And I personally think we can do even better at the, 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 the connection of the, the people who come from abroad. Uh, this year we've made the workshop program bigger um, and I think we will even do that more next year. At least I want to and I want to see if that's possible because I think even more people will come and, um, and it's just great fun to hang out with people from all over the world who share the same passion and also share the same set of skills and a, a mindset. I, I love the idea of putting, putting someone from a country and someone from a completely different country on stage and they will do improv together because they know their skills, they have the same mindset and I think that's, that's magic. That's, I love seeing that, I love doing that, I love being a part of that. So, um, this year you increased the amount of workshops yeah. over a week? From, from a weekend to, to yeah. a week now? Yeah, last year it was, it was uh, we had um, uh, workshops on the Friday and Saturday, three hour workshops, a lot of short workshops. And this year we've been doing uh, uh, whole day workshops uh, and even a workshop weekend with uh, Stan at the, at the beginning of the festival, even like you could name it the pre-festival. Um, because I talk to people from different um, uh, countries, I talk to them on different, uh, at other festivals, other international festivals, and they all told me, oh, we love to come, we love the shows, but if I'm here during the day, I want to do more than just hang out in Amsterdam. I'm sure it's a great city, but you know, I want to I want to do something. I want to learn something. And then we thought, okay, let's do workshops. And and this was like a tryout of doing all day workshops, and they filled up very quickly. And and I think we we uh, because I know some people actually didn't come because they said, well, if I cannot be in the workshop, I'm not going to just come here for the show. It's too expensive to yeah. just do that because you have to you have to trip and you have to stay here. So, yeah. 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 But we just come for to see the shows, do the interviews, and mm -hmm. like that. And You're crazy. I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, of course. Little, yes, it's, but it's a different way. Yeah, I love but, that you guys are doing that. Yeah. But we are crazy. Yeah, of course. But on the other hand, uh, I always think if you if you see shows, mm -hmm. you, it's it's a little bit like workshopping. Yeah. There's a passive thing of yeah. workshop doing, because um, you see a lot of influences from all over the world. Yeah. And on the other hand. Uh, but I experienced, we, we work on a lot of day, uh, I miss to see Amsterdam. Uh, mm. It's a little bit like, um, yeah. okay, I, I, we we going from the hostel where we were yeah. to here, uh, to this wonderful theater and yeah. back. So, uh, tomorrow... For the record, that's really close, it's like a one minute walk. Yeah, that's, we, we take the, the other side of the canal now, so <laughs> it was a little bit something okay, different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the, the program you set up, or the, the team set it up uh, was tr is really intensive. Yeah, you have these 
you have a pre-show, then you have these yeah. main shows, yeah. you have two night shows. Um, what what are show you are really uh, proud of to present here in, in the Amsterdam this year the festival? Uh, well, f first of all, the, the, your first point being that you don't see a lot of Amsterdam. That's a strange thing because we have a pre-show, we have the panel talks, we have a late night show. And you're not obliged to go, you don't have to go, but people do anyway. And it's this strange thing where you go, oh, but I also want to see some part of the city. But you don't because there's improv. And I think a lot of improvisers recognize that. I was in Barcelona and I actually went early this year because I knew if I'm just there, you know, I, I will be only in workshops because I love it. I love Barcelona, but I, you know, so I actually yeah. put some extra days on. Um, your other, your other question, uh, what are you really proud of having here? Well, three for all, they're very well known. We've had them here for, for, uh, 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 for they're here for the second time and, and part of them have been here before and they do a great job of, of, of showing us um, um, what they've been working on for, for, for a few decades. Um, I, what I also personally really like were the Norwegians because they, they did their Ibsen show, which is a well-known uh, Norwegian playwright. And they really, to me, bridged the gap between improv, which a lot of times is, can be quite light, yeah. and like theater, which, um, which is, can be heavy. And, and, and they showed us that you can improvise uh, a, a play in a certain uh, a style and uh, and I think they did a great job even if it's not their own language which made it difficult for them what what's really is fun, we, we had a longer interview with, with Niels yeah uh, so if you're interested in this look this Check interview we, we want to uh, put it on in YouTube well, you're uh, gonna do the thing here yeah, yeah. so <laughs> click here and you can see <laughs> the interview you. by Niels um, but the thing is uh, you say three for all was well known yeah but funny, we, we're from Berlin and yeah. we, we have a lot of international improvisers <coughs> traveling to Berlin. We have a huge international festival by the Gorillas. And if I uh, talk to somebody in Berlin, to improvise in Berlin, say, yeah, three for all. They're well known in the world. They would say, yeah, oh, no, I never Ooh, heard yeah. before. And that, that's it's another question. What, what would you say, what's, what's different from this festival to compare to other festivals you, you know? Okay. The, yeah, I think, well, one, if you, if you look at um, Impro Berlin, um, a great festival, um, what we, everything is one in one venue. So yeah. that's, that's, I think that's unique for this festival compared to, for example, Impro Berlin. Um, this is the first year we're actually doing simultaneous shows. So we have two late night shows you can choose from, but that means you cannot see one. Yeah. You're going to see the other. So that's the first time. Um, we have a really big venue. Um, so it, I think this is really dense, it's really close together. I think that's one uh, thing uh, that makes it really different. Um, and, and what I like, for example, some festivals are more like workshop festivals. Yeah. A lot of improvisers come there, they do workshops, they see shows, they do shows, and no one really comes who's not an improviser. Um, we, uh, we actually also get people who are not improvisers. We get some expats who come here who love the festival. Um, but I also like the idea of having a workshop festival. Really, a lot of improvisers getting close and you know, and, and performing together and doing workshops together. So, I would love to do more of that. Yeah. I don't want to throw away what we have right now, but I also want to get more improvisers here and really learn from each other. Um, yeah. And you you will get the chance to do it. Yes. Uh, because you. It, is it a step forward from a nightmare <laughs> to a day mayor or the, the what, 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 what's the... What's the official term? The official term <laughs> I, is the artistic director. Um, uh, that means I'm just a part of the team. I mean, it, it's not that I'm going to say we're going to do this. I'm not kind of some kind of dictator. We have a great team who, uh, uh, who take care of the production and the marketing and, and the It's volunteer. just a title. Yes, and, and um, yeah. Why? Because you're then responsible. You, yes. you have to sign everything and you... Well, not responsible. I think it, it, <laughs> it means that, that my um, view of the festival will be through the, it will be the artistic glasses, you know, and, yeah. and someone else will have the financial glasses on and, okay. and together you make this festival because I can say, well, I want to do this. And then Flores will say, that's too expensive, you know, <laughs> or he will say, great idea because we have some money for this and that. So. I think together you make a festival. Um, and is it a step forward? Um, I think it's different. Um, as a nightmare, most of the uh, things you do are in the festival. Yeah. I mean, I went to bed at five 
uh, uh, last night, you know, because you know the was, night ends and your yes, time and was over. Yeah, yeah the bar were clo the bars were closing, and <laughs> you know the guys we were hanging out with we went back to sleep. So and I feel a kind of a responsibility. You want to go out? Oh, I'll go with you. Um, and as an artistic director, most of the work is done uh, beforehand. Yeah. Um, we we uh, we have to think of which names we want. We have to think of a vision. What do we want? How do we want it? And I think the first thing I'll do is probably ask a lot of questions yeah. because the team who's been organizing it now, I think most of them will do it next year again. I'll just ask them questions. Why are we doing it this way? Um, because I think if you ask questions, why do we do it? You actually can decide if you if it's a good reason. Yeah, let's stay. Let's keep it that way. If it's like I don't even know, we just do it. Well, maybe we can do it differently, or should we? Or yeah. So I'm going to ask a lot of questions and and maybe. I don't think it's going to change a lot next year. I think it will gradually evolve into something we want it to be. I have some ideas about it, but that's just me. It's, I'm not alone. So. And what, what's the main challenge for the next years? So that, that's the positive thing. You want to increase it more. You will. But I think there's also uh, tomato f to tomato festival, which is in a week, in a year, or mm -hmm. around about a year. Uh, it's just one spot thing, so you have a, to put a lot of energy in one mm -hmm. uh, certain amount of time, and yeah. then it's over. And it's something not so um, to to advertise it, to bring people together. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, there's a lot of work. So, but is it the main challenge to bring it up or and make it as big as is this year, or do you see other challenges? Um. It's just it's funny because you say uh, big and and you say that the, the the you know one time in in a, in a year and I just realized now we 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 went up from from uh, five days to, to uh, uh, six days um, this year um, because a few years ago we went to a bigger theater and money wise it was kind of challenged so we decided okay let's do one day less now we did one day more again but. I don't see a reason why we can do seven days or eight <laughs> days or nine days, like two weekends. I, I haven't thought about it. I, I don't think we're going to do it next year. But, you know, these are things um, we have to uh, look into. And, and for me, a personal thing is I want to get a lot of improvisers here internationally uh, who will do workshops, who will work together, learn from each other. And at the same time, I don't want to throw away what we have. Uh, I want also people from, from outside the improv scene to see this yeah. and to to realize improv is, is, is real theater and it's not just some hobby uh, some guys have, you know, because sometimes I have a feeling that it's looked upon this way uh, in the Netherlands and maybe also some other countries. Um, is it, uh, is it uh, a problem to uh, here in Amsterdam, for example, to show up with a, as a festival and say, okay, we need things from the city or whatever and are they serious to you or is they don't know that that's a hobby or um i don't think it's it's the city i mean uh, we got a grant from from uh, from a foundation who, who who actually just you know they give grants for 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 art for for um uh theater um i think it's more the the gap that's still there between improv and regular Theater, uh, I mean real theater. Yeah, let's real say real theater. Yeah, normal, the, yeah, the right yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, it's the one where people went to drama school, yeah. and a lot of people we have here didn't go to drama school. A lot actually did also, yeah. and I, I, I want to bridge that gap desperately because I think we can learn so much uh, from them, especially about the acting part. And I know they can learn a lot from us about the improvising part, about the story building, about Finding the game, stuff like that. But which had, which one's head is it? Who has this gap in mind? Because we know it's not really a gap. It's, a, it's lot of it's closed because it could be theater, and you also could have a silly, stupid theater. And on the other mm -hmm. hand, yeah. we would say, okay, there, there we do better stories and improv than mm -hmm. what people are calling the, uh, yeah, boulevard theater or whatever. I don't know if it's a word in English. I'm not sure, but uh, so for uh, yeah, just for entertaining. So I think there actually there's no gap, but there's a there's a like a people have this gap in mind, and uh, it's it, hmm, is it yeah. the audience? 
Um, no, I, I, I think there, there is a, well, maybe the gap is not the right word. I know the, 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 there's a network of theater people. You know, they know yeah. each other, they went to school together, and there's a network of improvisers. And they don't really mix that much. Yeah. And I want to change that. And we are changing that. We are uh, having people from different disciplines. We're, we're having the Dutch factory. They do uh, some kind of improvised Shakespeare. Uh, 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 the Nachtgast are people uh, who, uh, who are from the regular theater and they improvise. So we, we, we're getting closer. Um, and I think it, it will take some time. But I think over time, we will, they will see this as an, um, a real discipline. Uh, and 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 we will realize that that we are a real discipline because I think sometimes it's also not just the audience but also the improvisers themselves are like yeah we're just improvisers okay I'm like, no we're more than that the artists yeah, yeah definitely yeah cool I would say thank you for this interview maybe you have a last one I would give you the last final words for this interview and maybe you say to our uh, audience the internet out yeah. there um what that they invite them for next yes year's okay festival. make some promises you want to keep uh, make some promises <laughs> if you can be artistic director and now you, ha you have your time okay for yeah first I'm, promises i'm gonna put this on on the internet so the rest of the team will say well you promised it you shouldn't have <laughs> well i promise it now we gotta make sure we do it no i will promise you personally that we will have more workshops uh, uh next year so uh, more people can come, uh, we can ac accommodate more people with really great workshops. Uh, the shows will, also, will of course be great again and uh, I promise there's a lot to do also during the day. So next time you come to Amsterdam you will have to come to Amsterdam to find out about the city because when you come to Impro Amsterdam you'll just, just do workshops and you'll see great shows. Thank you Sven. Thank you. Thanks a lot and thank you.